guys, part three of my video on um, painting uh, your own custom GameCube controller. Um, so I just finished painting the back of my personal controller. Um, it's been a little rainy out and stuff like that, so it's taking me a little bit longer. Uh, but um, just wanted to show you what the back is, looks like, see how glossy it is, see how you know the color is and everything like that, and then give you a little bit of tips and uh, tricks to uh, coloring it. This will be basically the last part except for the very next part so the second to last part um, before I show off both controllers and then um, you know maybe uh, give some, some more little tips or you know maybe give you a link uh, probably down below if you have any more questions of me um, or any other videos that I do. So to the back of the controller um, as you can see right here uh, I did it. Um, it's kind of hard to see because the light's kind of crappy right now but it's a very nice purple color um, and it looks very very good um, as you can see it's really shiny and glossy and that's because of the clear coat um, I got it everywhere pretty much even a little bit on the inside which is fine because it's gonna be on the insides um, really smooth uh, really good it feels really good very there you know no no rough edges or anything like that um, and this took about I don't know four clear coats I would say um, it uh, didn't take too long to dry though. Really the longer part was the painting, um, the actual spray painting of the purple. Uh, you know, I did about three coats of the uh, purple and uh, a little other touch-ups as well um, to cover up some spots in the crevices. And uh, that took about five hours between painting, letting it dry, painting, letting it dry, painting, letting it dry, etc. Clear coat, clear coat dries pretty fast um, depending on the one. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes at most for it to you know dry dry uh, before you can uh, apply another coat of the clear coating um, you know I like I, said, I did four uh, you can do more you can do less depends on you know how good you are with it and how the texture you want it the more coats you put on it the smoother and the and the, the glossier the richer it's going to be so if you're looking for maybe just to seal it and give it a shite uh, <laughs> a slight shine uh, you know maybe do a little bit less um, so that's that right there now there's a couple of tips and tricks that um, I learned uh, during this particular uh, painting that I wanted to share with you guys because they're very helpful little things that you may not know um, and that you know next time especially when I make my roommate's controller that I'll do uh, one thing is um, make sure that when you're spray painting uh, you want to do quick short bursts and you want to make sure um, you know don't you want to go in an even surface on the entire thing probably from left to right or from right to left um, even if you're missing spots on the first pass through go you know like especially just go you know, one two three four and then come back on the top and then in the insides it's gonna make it more even um, you know the first coating that I did of the paint I just sort of like you know did this side, did that side, sort of went everywhere. And while I didn't necessarily do anything wrong, it meant that I had to spend more time painting in the long run. Um, another thing you want to do as well is make sure, um, like I recommended in the first video, uh, I used a plastic drop cloth. Um, really good, it was really big, I just cut it and then set it down on the concrete. So painting it anywhere. The one thing though is that when I applied the clear coat to it, and I had it laying down flat like this on the plastic drop cloth, um, I noticed something after like the second clear coat. Um, because you're spraying on the clear coat and on the controller, the bottom corners right here and right here, the corners that are connected to the clear coat or connected to the drop cloth, um, they can actually stick to each other and get you'll get like a film on the edges. Um, it's not very good because it can cause cracking and it can make it look really bad on the edges. Um, on the first coat of clear coating, it looked like like chipped nail polish almost. Um, so I had to go back there and do a little bit of uh, tack work on it. Um, what I recommend is maybe either um, holding it uh, if you feel like it. I for the the second coat, I basically just held it like this, um, like this, and uh, sprayed it. Uh, I got over my hands. Uh, which isn't too bad. The clear coat just smells really bad, uh, but it's easy to wash off. It's you know not that big of a deal. Um, 
or uh, you can use newspaper. Uh, last time I used, I did something like this. Uh, it didn't stick to the newspaper, um, but one thing that I'm thinking about getting, especially for my next controller, is a, uh, a holder or a stand that clips onto something on the inside here. So that way I can have it suspended, not touching anything, and that way I can get all around it as well. Um, and I mean, you could probably get something or Jerry rig something quite easily uh, for that. And that probably is the best option, um, just because, you know, that way it's not touching anything, especially on the painting surface. Um, but uh, like I said, just be careful with that. If you don't have that options or if you just don't really want to bother with it, just make sure that um, when you are clear coating at least the edges, pick it up, you know, just pull it in your hands a little bit, spray it, set it down, and then continue to spray it. Just don't touch the surfaces that you've clear coated. Uh, you can get fingerprint marks on there. Um, you can, you know, smudge it, uh, and it can actually uh, really mess up the paint as well. Um, but besides that, I think that's going to be the end to part three. Part four is just going to be the big reveal of everything together. Um, like I said, uh, stay tuned. This is all going to be one video, so you won't really have to stay tuned. I'm going to try to split it up into different sections and just post the links down below. Um, but yeah, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, have a good one.